I didn't see you there. <laughs> welcome back to my channel, or welcome if it's the first time that you're watching a video on my channel. My name is Ollie, and the reason why you clicked on this is because you know that I'm going to talk about why I quit Say ABC. I know, bringing tears to my eyes. <laughs> Once a beautiful, amazing company, which led me to quit and change over to Wales English. Uh, however, if you haven't already seen the video on why I liked working at SABC, make sure you check it out. If it pops up here or here, I'm not sure exactly where. But check that out uh, and I go through all the things that I liked about the company. And before I get started on today's video, if you are curious about my life in South America or curious about any of my online ESL talks that I do, be sure to like this video and click that subscribe button and go and check out all my videos. Let's get started. And just so you know, if you do see me looking down, that is because I created a list. Yes, I planned. Of course I planned. So if I'm looking down, that's because I'm looking at the list because I want to make sure that I give you the most fair and objective criticism of Say ABC. In saying that, this is my own personal experience and opinion, and yours might be different. And if it is different, let me know in the comments, and I'm sure that I can agree on some things. So for a little bit of context about um, how I worked at SayBC, I started in May 2019, and I finally quit, or I didn't re-sign my contract, in August of 2020. And in that time, I taught about 170 lessons. And that 170 lessons goes to the first reason why I decided to quit a ABC. And that's because the bookings for me were rubbish. Depending on where you are in the world, everything operates on Beijing time. So you can teach from, I think the earliest slot that they had available was 5.40 in the morning. Ah, uh, well, my morning. 5.40 in the evening of Beijing time. And, you know, as I said, 5.40 for my time, I was not getting up at that time. So I was available for two slots every day. For me, SABC was a part-time job because I, I work in a brick and mortar school here in Bolivia. So it was a part-time job and I made myself available for two slots per day, two 40-minute slots, six days a week, okay, six days a week. And throughout my SABC time, I would either have four slots booked and two available or all six booked. And that brought in, I was on the $15, uh, $15 a lesson pay rate and that brought in, that brought in $90 a week, which just didn't make sense for me. Earning extra income of about $500 a month after the bonuses, which I received a $4 bonus per completion lesson, but it wasn't enough and I was available to work more. So earning that income of an extra $500 a month after the $4 bonus per lesson, when I was available to teach double what I was being booked, for me, it just didn't make sense. I would message the communication. I'm going to talk about that in a second. I would email the communication team. I uh, said, hey, I'm available. Can you book my slots? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Um, and either I wouldn't get a reply or they would say, yes, uh, when something becomes available, we'll give it to you. So the, the fact that I had low bookings really influenced my decision to quit SABC. And to be honest with you, I don't know how they actually book teachers to students. I, I didn't set up a profile. I didn't make a video. I think I just wrote an, an introduction. And I guess parents base, well, I, no, I don't think the parents even book. So I don't even know how they do bookings, but it didn't, obviously, it clearly didn't work for me. Uh, and that's the reason why I did quit. Another reason why I quit is they don't have a leave policy that allows you to go on vacation for one or two weeks and then come back and start teaching. Or even um, if somebody had an emergency, I don't think there was much flexibility for that person's record not to be affected. And because I'm living in Bolivia, I mean, the reason why I live in Bolivia is because I want to travel South America. And the fact that if I want to travel, I have to give up all my classes and then come back and restart again really annoyed me. For example, in, in December last year, I decided to go on a five-week va vacation. And yeah, some of you are probably thinking, well, don't go on vacation then. But hey, I'm 27, I want to see the world, and I'm just going to go for it. <laughs> uh, and, and as I said, it was a part-time job for me, so the extra income was extra. But going back to the point, when it came to December last year, I think I had six classes, I was all booked. And when I came back from vacation in, I don't know why I'm calling it vacation, I'm Australia. When I came back from holidays, 
Um, it took me about another six weeks to get four slots filled. So I was teaching two slots a week, which is $30 a week. Um, and then it took me another six weeks to fight to get an extra class. And again, I was just like, oh my God, I, I'm available in the morning and I want to work, but there's nothing available. And yeah, this again goes back to the, the low number of bookings. It's just really not good. The lack of a leave policy won't help you if you're living abroad and you want to travel and you want the flexibility of having a holiday every now and then. Another reason why I decided to quit CBC and shift over to Wales English is because of the pay. When I first started, I was like, oh my God, $15 for 40 minutes. That's amazing. I'm going to like make so much money. It's like almost double what I earn in my school in Bolivia. Oh my God, I'm going to be rich, blah, 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 blah. But I soon realized that the low number of bookings and the pay that was $15 an hour. Yeah, it's reasonable in the ESL world. Plus the $4 if you complete the, the nine lessons of the Our World curriculum, which I, I talk about in the reasons why I liked Say ABC, the curriculum. So check that video out. But I saw an opportunity to earn more money at a different company. And thankfully I changed because I am earning so much more money at Wales English. And let's go on to the next reason. Oh, here's my list. Let's have a look. It says 4.5 weeks of guarantee pay. So the CBC curriculum, which I think has changed a little bit now, um, the Our World curriculum was where you teach nine lessons. So you see the same students two times a week for four and a half weeks. And basically after that four and a half weeks, the parents can choose to renew or they can choose to cancel. So the fact that you only had four and a half weeks of guaranteed income kind of is scary if you are if you don't do this part time. For me, it didn't bother me. But if you're looking at a company that is your main source of income or you need it a lot, I don't think CBC is the right company for you. I would definitely go for Wales who have like a 30 weeks of regular classes and if you want to use my referral link for Wales English feel free to click it in the bio and I can help you on the process yeah but the fact that these 4.5 hours uh, for me it seemed a little unstable as income not only were the bookings low but you could pretty much finish a class and not get renewed after four and a half weeks simply because the uh, the parents don't like you or there's changes in class there's a combination of your of your class because they do the 1 t 1 v 4 or 1 v 6 students per class and obviously like you know to make sense in in business sense you want classes that are full with four or six students so if you have a class of two it can be cancelled at any time um, so it was really unstable income for me. And the final thing I want to talk about is the lack of transparency and communication from, say, ABC. It had been said that there are a lot of changes going on. They were discontinuing the Our World curriculum, which allowed teachers from Australia, from my beautiful country, New Zealand, South Africa, Canada, the US, all the main countries that these Chinese companies like to hire, you were able to teach our world. But it had been said that CBC was discontinuing the our world curriculum and encouraging those students to go over to VIPX. Apparently there was some sort of financial incentive. Okay, listen to my language. I'm trying to distance myself from this information. Uh, I don't know if it's fact, but it had been said that, yeah, discontinuing of the Our World, which allowed more teachers to teach, and the encouragement of those students to go over to VIPX. And the problem with that, from my perspective, is VIP, not VIPX, VIP Kid, excuse me, <laughs> they sound the same, uh, VIP Kid, which is the parent company of SayBC. The problem with those students being encouraged to go over to VIP Kid is that they only hire North American teachers. And as you can tell from my accent, I don't know how, how I went then. As you can tell from my accent, I am I'm not American. And I, even if I tried to put on an American accent, I don't even have the passport. <laughs> oh God, I gotta stop. So that also meant that my bookings were gonna get, even go down lower, lower than they could have already gone. And that's another reason why I got out early. And I'm so happy I did because I've gone from six 40 minute sessions 
to 15 regular classes, 15 hours a week with Wales English, and that is more than enough to earn, you know, a good 1,500 US dollars a month pay. It's like three times what I earned at Say ABC. So, there you go. They are some of my reasons why I personally quit Say ABC. If you also quit Say ABC for the exact same reasons, I would love to hear your comments. I'd love to hear what you think of the company, and I'd love to know your opinion of of why teachers are quitting Say ABC and looking for other companies because it doesn't happen for no reason. Like, you don't leave a company unless you're unhappy or unless something's wrong. But I will say before I go that I absolutely loved Say ABC when I first started. It gave me an opportunity to make supplementary income to the income I make in Bolivia. The kids are wonderful. Uh, the platform is great, and there's even a, a theme song for each unit that you do, so you get to sing, you get to put on your karaoke voice. So there were a lot of positives to my experience. Overall, I had a great experience, um, but the, the reasons that I mentioned about low bookings and wanting to earn more money were the major factors in me quitting Say ABC. And if you do want to know the good things, what I liked about Say ABC, Make sure that you check out the video that I, which I talk about the things that I liked. Um, and if you haven't already, please like and subscribe my videos. And if you are interested in Wales English, uh, I am happy to help you get hired with them. So click on my referral link, apply, and send me an email, which I will leave in the, the bio. Okay? Peace out, everybody. Have a good day or a good night, depending on where you are.